What's up everyone, this is Dimitri, and I think I found one of the best looking keyboards I've seen this year. This is the Tesoro Gram Spectrum with beautiful RGB lighting that is uniquely complemented by the white frame of the keyboard. Its price, $129, which within the mechanical RGB realm is actually normally justifiable, so before we go any further, if this is worth it, a quick message from our sponsor. The new NZXT S340 Elite. What makes it so elite? We've got a gorgeous tempered glass panel, extra VR ports, improved cable management, and an awesome magnetic puck. The name is fitting, elite features at a good price. S340 Elite, check it out in the description below. And so the Graham Spectrum physically is quite bare bones. We have a metal frame, it's light yet sturdy, it's a full layout only, no TKL versions available, there is no wrist rest included, no USB or audio pass-through, it comes with white and black frames with their own agile red or blue switches and low profile keycaps. The font here is clear but with a few funky letters and numbers but very important, all the secondary symbols are located on the top portion of the key since the LED on the switch is also at the top, so good stuff. There. And since the Agile switches are based on Kale switches, the Tesoro variant here just has a lower actuation point at 1.5 millimeters instead of 2 millimeters and shorter travel distance of 3.5 millimeters instead of 4. And while it seems like only a marginal difference, I actually really like the faster switches. They feel lighter compared to the MX Blues or MX Reds and almost feel in line with my favorite MX Speed switch that has a 1.2 millimeter actuation point. For the blue tactile switch for gaming, in particular, keys register faster, so you can spam the same key more times, and rebound time is good, actuation force feels light, and because of the shorter actuation on the switch itself, I prefer them over standard MX Blues or Reds. So keep in mind the space bar is very loud when it's coming up. And the same thing for zero and all the larger keys. Now the switches use standard MX stems, so you can swap out the keycaps if you want, but I actually quite like the lower footprint of the gram, which makes the wrist rest not really needed, and this in a 10 keyless format would be such an awesome addition for space efficient setups. The removable mini USB cable corresponds to the color of the frame. The braiding is a little bit too thick, but it comes out on the right side, which you could potentially route with your mouse bungee. And finally, you can angle the keyboard towards you, which I would recommend doing otherwise the flat angle feels a little bit odd on my fingers plus the bottom of the switches is visible when the keyboard is flat so it doesn't look very good. Other things also stand out if you look for them like the black metal clips on the larger keys but the black variant hides the switches a bit more but it's a very boring design so the lighting truly shines with this ambient diffraction on the white model and despite what color you said it looks absolutely stunning which is also because the switch body is transparent and helps to spread the light a little bit more despite the LED being on the top. The only problem is color corresponding to the presets in the software, which looks way outdated. One of their UI designers is either colorblind or just a troll, as red gives us hot pink, and green gives us teal, but luckily all the blue family is perfect. Now, good thing we have these RGB values, so you can dial in the perfect red. Um, the white is a little bit more bluish, but that can also be slightly fixed. And so the color potential on the keyboard is there. This is just Tesoro's incompetence shining right through, which is just a shame. Aside from the unimpressive software though, I haven't found any other drawbacks. The function keys have five profiles. We have also a Windows lock, volume and MIDI controls, plus a GPC button that cycles between PC mode, which is your default profile, and then you can return to your last used gaming profile. We also have an N key rollover button and a six key rollover, which is just in case uh, for compatibility. And with the arrow keys, you can adjust uh, four levels of brightness plus cycling uh, between lighting modes. And I really Really like this we have all this control on the keyboard itself so you don't have to go in with the software uh, yeah want to ignore the software altogether but on the fly macro recordings are also possible but it records the latency between the strokes just as it was recorded so entering back into the software into the macro settings is more convenient but perhaps it deserves some more pixels I don't know, this looks absolutely ridiculous, which ultimately is the weakest link in this keyboard. The UI suite needs a complete overhaul and because of this, potentially even a price drop to stay competitive. 
But before we conclude, a word from our sponsor. Oh, hey there. NCX.com is Canada's leading e-tailer for anything your mind desires. Just keep within those categories, which are plenty, and get tempted by the weekly deals. FYI, Black Friday is coming. Visit NCX.com for all them sweet deals. And so ultimately, the Graham Spectrum is a nice low-profile keyboard with capable lighting system, the kale switches are reliable, and Tesoro's own variant having shorter actuation is a thumbs up in my books. The white body variant is truly a stunning looking keyboard thanks to that ambience, and that sets it apart from a very crowded space. And because of this, they seriously need to fix the UI ASAP, because as a full package, it just feels unfinished and thus overpriced. And that is it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.